friend so today's video for the domain joining your new mac machine like big sur operating system or catalina okay so today i am performing this activity on big sur 11.2 okay and uh, i'll show you my environment so you can see this is my environment okay the mac os big sur 11.2 is up to date with latest patch okay and uh, the same like i show you something uh yeah so guys uh, definitely if you are joining your mac machine to domain definitely you assign the ip address okay and the make sure static ip or med be you assign as a dscp i have assigned the manually okay that means static ip this is my ip address so make sure if you assign so you can also perform this activity as a dscp but uh, as a best practice if you assign for the particular user so put on that manually okay and doesn't mean if you select the dscp it will not work it will work but yeah majority of case uh, people are assign the manual ip okay that means static ip okay so uh, first of all we have to check this much uh, this ip address i am able to ping or not on my local machine and uh, i am able to ping my domain so basically the my domain ip address is uh, uh, sorry 192.168.0.100 uh, is my domain ip this is the my domain okay uh, sorry I am sharing you the all details. Then I am perform the activity. So you can see the IP address is hundred, and this is the if you check it uh, the uh, DC DNS exchange zero zero one dot infoit.com and this is the ip address okay so this is the my uh, domain server and uh, this is the my mac machine and let's check uh, your mac uh, your uh, domain is able to ping uh, able to connect to your mac machine or not so we have to ping from domain 192.168.0.52 because my mac machine ip address is 52 Okay, so it's successfully uh, communicating, uh, guys. I'm creating the each and every point because in case if you are performing this activity, your machine is not communicating with domain, so you have to perform these steps. Okay, to validate connectivity is properly with your uh, Mac machine or your domain. Okay, so now all are working fine. Let's go on the my Mac uh, Mac machine. So. You can see the 52 IP, and I now I'm close it, and again let's perform the activity and system and user side. So guys, if you already have a user on Active Directory, no problem. Otherwise, you can create the user account on domain. I have already created the one domain account, so is that Mac Cafe Lab and Mac Admin. This is the user account basically. Okay, and I am given the lot of permission about this because this is the testing environment. Definitely, if it your organization depart organization uh, users, so definitely you will not assign these are the permission. But this is the testing that why I apply the all permission. Okay, so I have already created the user for the Mac. If you not, or if you I you have already ma uh, any user account, so you can simply log in it. So first, just click in here. But before you have to authenticate with your local account to join this service. Okay, and uh, you can see network account server. Click join and put your Active Directory IP address. Okay, it successfully uh, authenticate. Not authenticate. We will uh, successfully resolve. Okay, and. Put the password. 
Mac admin. Add password. Okay. Again, is asking the your local account password. Modify the configurations. Okay. Getting backend synchronization with your Active Directory. So it will not take much time, but yeah, it will take around two to three minutes. It will authenticate to whatever user account and password I have entered is correct or not, and it's validate on background. So okay, guys. So after one minute, uh, it's showing something look like this. Your network account server is in IT. This is my domain. Okay, and it's successful join. Just log this, and uh, as a best practice, you have to restart the machine. Okay, you, you know that whenever you join any machine to domain, you have to restart. So it will the restart will take time. So now I pause the video. Okay, so guys, I, I tell you first of all, uh, I perform this activity on VM environment. So it doesn't matter if you have Mac machine or Airbook or MacBook Pro. So it doesn't matter just simple the same uh, steps to perform the physical machine as well okay so just wait once is uh, process is done because this is a VM not a uh, actual physical machine that's why it's taking time okay guys so now you see I got the uh, two user account login uh, options so first is my uh, local account login if you want so you can local login but uh, yeah there is a, a other option so you just click here and put the add uh, put the user id password okay it has created on active directory so Okay, so now is authenticating on background and uh, again the same process when you uh, configure the first time Mac okay so the profile configuration window will come up yeah, it's taking a lot of time okay guys so now is showing something this features of profile so yeah if you select anyone so you can otherwise just not now and data privacy if you want configure the Shri so you can I don't want as of now just click continue and again what type of theme you want to keep light dark auto so I like to dark but if you want so you can select another one also just click next as compared windows and uh, Mac domain joining Mac is taking long time uh, windows not taking much time within a within a five minute even profile include the profile creation timing as well within a five minute windows is ready but the mac taking much time okay maybe i am using this on uh, vmware one of the reason but i am not sure anyway again it's ready yeah so now it is run okay so guys i hope you understand how to join uh, Bixer on Active Directory. Let's go on the user profile preferences and user account, and you can see I'm successful login to my Mac admin, which are created on Active Directory. Oh, sorry, login log. This user account. Okay. So thank you so much guys, if you like my video, subscribe my channel.